and some stuff that's on the other side. And then we'll say that delta should be that stuff. The first thing we can do, I guess, is uh, cancel the x minus 4, though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Make it a lot easier, probably. We just cancel the x minus 4s, like we would have over here with the factor cancel business. So we would have x plus 4 minus 8 less than epsilon. Oh, uh, this one's too easy. Look at this, too easy. And Carrie will be able to tell us why this one turned out so easy. So it looks like we should pick delta to be epsilon itself again, right? Just like the first problem. So let or pick delta to be epsilon, right? Just comparing these two. So why should that be the case, though? Why should delta be epsilon in this case, like that first example we had? Because the slope is one. Because it's really aligned with the whole. So being that it's aligned, the slope is one in this case. It's really, it's really like x plus four all the time, right? So line slope one. So delta should be epsilon. Okay, now we know what to pick for delta. We'll start the proof again in proper order. Say. Epsilon greater than zero, there does exist. There exists a delta which is equal to epsilon, such that, and now we just go through the formality. It says that if I start with this expression, that zero should be less than x minus four, or less than epsilon itself, because delta we're picking to be epsilon, right? In other words, whatever number you throw at me, I'm going to pick the same number. Whatever number you want your function and uh, the distance between your function and the limit to be bounded by, I'm going to pick the exact same number to bound the distance between x and 4. Pick the exact same thing. That will make it always happen. And now you just go up the chain. Right? Just, re just rewrite it going backwards. And you get to the proper conclusion of your function being a distance of uh, epsilon away from 8. So uh, x plus 4 minus 8. Less than epsilon, don't, don't write dot 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 on your paper. And then x squared, all you gotta do is multiply this by x minus 4 over x minus 4, and you get the function that you wanted. Right, meaning this part alone, right? Multiply that by x minus 4 over x minus 4. And you have the proper conclusion. Your function and its distance from 8 is less than epsilon, which is what we demanded. Where epsilon is any number with positive, any positive real number. Wait, how did you come up with the, like, when you went from the dotted to the x plus 4 minus 8? Are you just proving it again? It just prove anything. First time we just prove anything, because we start with the conclusion. You start okay. with the conclusion and work down to what delta should be. A good guess for delta. Okay. Then you take the proof in the proper order, right? An if-then statement must be, if you believe this, then it forces this to happen. So if we hold this, right, where well, this is our delta, right? I wrote epsilon already, because that's our delta, right? That's our delta. That this must be the consequence of that. And that's just working back up that chain. Oh, okay, okay. That's why I'm calling this initial work and not proof, right? This is proof right here. There, that's proof. This means that arrow there, uh, that. That's what that means. This pile of stuff here means that. The limit of that function that goes to 4 is 8. Okay? You're not getting 8. That's right, because you need delta to change as epsilon changes. You need this proof to work for any, any number whatsoever. That is, no matter how close, no matter how close you want your function to be the eight, because you're talking about a limit, you're talking about arbitrarily close to this number, right? This function has to be able to get arbitrarily close to this number. What's gonna make that happen? Well, if you want it to be arbitrarily close, I'm not gonna pick the exact same arbitrarily close value that will bound the distance between x and four. I've gotta make sure x and four are that close to guarantee that this and this are that same closeness. That's what you're trying to do. So it has to work for any number. Uh, we have a given scenario where we can use that to find the point one and Yes, that was the first two things we had the one and the one half. Yeah. That's the other basic scenario you have to work with in the homework problems. That's correct. Now in this case, once you've seen a proof though, if you were asked what delta should you select if you want uh, epsilon to be Five. If you want your function to be a distance five away from the limit, why well, don't pick five for delta? I've already seen the relationship between the two, right? 
There's no monkeying around with it this time. You know what I'm saying? Wait. How close do you want this function to be to 8? Tell me how close you want this function to be to the number 8. How close do you want it to be? X minus 4. No, this whole thing. How close do you want? Here's our function, right? There's the f of x. How close do you want this function to be to the height of 8? How close do you want it to be to 8? Very close. Just give me, just give me a number. 8.1. You want it to be 8.1 away? Or 0.1, you're saying? Yeah, okay. Point one. Okay. If I want this function height to be a point one distance at most away from eight, then I need to pick x to be a point one distance away from four. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. Guarantee it's going to happen. It'll be that close to eight. Or I can pick anything smaller. Right? The delta can always be smaller than the epsilon. Right? It's fine. Or I should say, you can pick anything smaller than the delta. It doesn't matter. Lee, you pick point 0.1 here. I can pick um, point oh, 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 one here. It'll still work. Guaranteed, your function will still be certainly uh, this close to 8. Even more close. It'll be even closer. Right? Jerry, you pick the exact one, though. All right. Any questions so far? No? I have. For now, yeah. Uh, if you have the, like, if we're looking at the if and then, like, the beginning and the, the end yeah, product, yeah, beginning and end, yeah. where can you tell where the, um, like, the distance is? Or what the distance is? Distance, I mean, distance between x and a? Well, both of these are saying, this says distance between x and a. Max, maximal distance between x and a. This says maximal distance between function and limit. Oh, Anytime okay. you see absolute value something minus something, that is a distance. Okay? It's hard to think about it that way. You used to think about it just like algebraically. But in terms of geometry, that is a distance between two things. Okay. Distance okay. between x and 4 equal distance to the function Yes, delta. It's correct. It's correct. You are correct. You wouldn't say equals in this context, but it is true what you said. It is true. about where you're going, you go up not what it actually is at that moment. Right. Alright, so no questions about those proofs? Mm -hmm. I would start working on these problems. See what the uh, online software has for you. Do you have it questions? Has it has it on a graph. Say again? Graph, yeah. Let's just do all of it. There's only three questions. Only three? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 